Hey, this is Toby. Welcome back to another video. So today we finish the code for the pattern recognition EA, and in the end of the video, we will also do a back test. Okay, so let's jump right into Visual Studio Code. Of course, you can also use the default meta editor to create this EA. Um, this is the file from the last video. If you have not seen the first part, I will link it up here. And what we want to do is to delete the chart objects. We create here in this draw pattern function here and also here draw mark. So pattern bar and mark is the name of these chart objects. And we go to the on in that function here and we just write object, object delete all, object delete all and the name. First of all, the chart ID is null for the current chart and the name is pattern bar and we just copy this do the same for the mark the vertical lines basically so we just make sure we delete the objects when we remove the EA and to test this I also want to add a chart redraw call to the draw pattern function here at the end we just write chart redraw. So this will just refresh the chart so we can see the objects um, because today is Sunday and there are no new quotes and yeah, so we are able to test this. So I will hit compile using the script in Visual Studio Code and let's go to the MetaTrader 5 platform. I will close the tester for now and let's put the EA on a chart, pattern recognition EA default inputs. We can see the pattern here. And now if I remove the EA, you should also remove or delete the chart objects. Okay. This is working fine. Let's go back to the code. And the next thing I want to do here is to check the inputs. Uh, right now this function is empty, check inputs. So first of all, I will copy all the inputs. So I know what we need to check. And I will just paste this here, just for now. Um, and let's start with the first one, which is the magic number. So we can write a simple if statement here, if input, um, input magic number should not be below or equal to zero. In this case, we can write a message for the user a alert maybe um, wrong input man magic number less or equal to zero okay and we also return false here for this check input function so that's it for the magic number uh, let's just copy this The next input is the lot size. So the lot size should also not be below or equal to zero. So we can just change this here or just lots below or equal to zero. Return false. Um, next one is the file name we want to check. We want to check if the file exists maybe. Um, so I will just copy this if statement again, paste it here. And here I use now a exclamation mark and then there's a function called file is exist like this and now the file name which is our input um, okay it doesn't show up here but it's basically input file name and for the flags I want to specify the common flag. So this is by default, but just to make sure. So um, I think it's file underscore common. Okay. And if this returns false, we know the file does not, not exist. And we want to write a message here, wrong input, maybe file and now the file name. 
name. Does not exist like this. Okay. Um, let's actually test this. Or oh, we test it later when we have all the inputs. Okay. So file name, minimum correlation. Um, yeah, we only need to check these two here, the trading inputs, um, because they can also be negative. So we check only these two minimal co correlation here. I just copy this input minimum correlation should also not be below zero, but can be zero. So it's basically off. So min correlation below zero and the other if statement is for the pattern size. So input, um, what is called min, min size in percent. Um, also not below zero. Okay, and maybe we change this here to um, Minimum pattern size filter below zero. Okay, now let's delete these inputs here. So we only have the if statements and we return false in each if statement here. And in the end here, we return true. And let's hit compile and let's check if this is already working in the MetaTrader 5 platform. So here, let's again add the A to the chart and let's use a file name that does not exist here. Press OK. We get the alert, wrong input, um, Yeah, does not exist. So this is working and we can also check maybe the lot size. Um, actually there is no input here for the lot size. I think we missed the keyword input. So that's also something we should fix. So let's take a look at the code here. So the input, yeah, the matching number and the lot size are just normal global variables. Right now we need to add the keyword input here. And also here input double for the lot size. So they will show up in the input window. Um, So let's hit compile again. Uh, let's see. Here we start the A. Now we can see the matching number and the lot size. And if I add a negative lot size of five, for example, we should also get a alert message. Okay. Okay, I think that's it for the code now for this EA. So let's um, do a back test. Here I opened the tester. I selected the one hour time frame, euro dollar. Now, of course, to get the same result as I do here in the video, you need exactly the same pattern. Um, I can show you the pattern again, but yeah, just play around, use different patterns. Um, here we have it in the CSV file. This is the pattern from one of the previous videos. You can also use a pattern with more bars and just test different patterns here. So here, euro dollar. Um, every tick, last 14 years, and these are the inputs I use here for this test. Um, 0 to 8 correlation and a sell stop, minus 50 order level, 200 stop loss, and 150 take profit. So let's just start this test and take a look at the equity graph. Of course, um, yeah, the result really depends on the pattern you use, but you could also make this EA more dynamic. For example, you could use just the recent bars as a dynamic pattern and then search on the fly and do a optimization on the fly. So you have multiple patterns or always the latest bar for the pattern. What you can also do is to collect all the uh, patterns with a high correlation and then look if there's a bias to the up or down side. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with this EA. Okay, this is the back test basically. Now I would not trade this EA here 
in the current state on a live account because this is probably just fitted to the data, overfitted, and it will not perform like this in the future. But you can build on this concept. As I said, use multiple patterns to get a higher sample size, for example. Okay, if you are interested in learning MQL5, um, you can check out my website. I have two programming courses on MQL5, alpha and beta for beginners and more advanced stuff. And also there's a link below the video for Darwin X0. If you want to yeah, prove your track record, use Darwin X0, you have to just um, pay a monthly subscription and then you can use the platform to get external capital for your trading. So that's pretty awesome. Check out the link below the video. You get 20% off. Um, yeah, and I will see you in the next video. I wish you a great week. Uh, good trades. Bye-bye.